Hi, I'm Kevin. So what I thought I'd do is I'll put Linux Mint on a MacBook Air and it's now a Mint Book Air. And I've also configured the FaceTime camera so it works. And I've done an OBS thing so you can see that working. Anyway, here's the specs for it. It's the 2017 model, a 13 inch display, um, quite old. But, you know, if you try to put Windows on this, it's really slow. If you try and put Linux on it, Mac on this, just ancient. Anyway, you can pick these up ridiculously cheaply. There you go, it's like £89 or £99 on Amazon for one of these computers. And when you put Linux on it, I mean, it's literally really responsible to having a new computer. It's like actually when I first had a computer using OS X on it. Here we are. So we're in there. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to have a look around. So if you've not seen Linux Mint before, it's really, really, if you're transitioning from OS X or Windows, it's really easy. There we are. So I'm Mint 22.1 uh, Cinnamon. Kernel 8.6, it's, there you go, it's got a 500 gig thingy, and uh, it's Intel 6000 graphics, and that has, um, what's it called, oh yeah, and basically when you first install this, there's an issue, you'll have to use um, a Bluetooth link to download the Wi-Fi drivers, because I do, because the Wi-Fi drivers aren't in the Linux Mint installation, but you have to hotspot to your phone, only do the drive the manager driver manager don't do updates on it once you get that driver installed it'll appear then you can reboot and you can uh, install everything else and you've got wi-fi so yeah so <clears throat> let's have a quick look around in here what we've got it's i mean if you've never used linux before it's pretty it's like really easy to migrate over to this stuff and so one of the things was to get the facetime camera working it doesn't work by default so i wrote a script um, really simple script to use, and I'll put it in the link with another script. So what you do is copy the script into your downloads folder, um, and then you basically be another one as well. Then you have to do chmod plus x to give it execution capabilities. Uh, drag over, press return, and now you can run it. So just drag that back over. And what it will do, some clever people up, up in the cloud somewhere have put together bits and bobs that allow this to work. So Yes, I want to insta install the um, FaceTime camera. Now I've done it so that if it detects an older kernel, it'll also pull down the versions for that. So I know it works on this one, but I mean, give it a go. I've got another Mac I'm going to try this on. So it goes off, does its thing. And basically, there we go. Now it'll install the, all the necessary bits for that tiny FaceTime camera that comes with it. So there it goes. It's found the bits from El Capitan and it'll put them in. And so what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to do a bit of like OBS capture, but it's a really good example um, of how you can use the FaceTime camera, um, basically. So there you go. And um, did I press yes? I'll probably say yes. But I mean, the, you can see, you can use it now in OBS, as I've shown a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook up this £10 box that I've got from Amazon, which is ridiculous, which actually works incredibly well and does 4K capture. And we're going to run it through OBS, capture something externally, and uh, okay, so here's the box. It's a balance back, so you can get them on Amazon for like next to nothing. And the way you hook it up, because this MacBook's got USB 3, is like this. So basically, computer display into the computer, and you do OBS, and that's it. So what we're going to do, I've got external drive I'm capturing on. I've got another script. I've got OBS running there, but I've got another script. And this what the script does. It, it sort of it optimizes your machine for OBS. So I've got OBS performance capture, especially with Mint, because it does have a few issues with the compositor and things like that with this. So again, same thing, CHPod. And what this will do, it will, f you should have downloaded OBS through Flatpak, through the App Store. If you've done it that way, then fine. If you, I don't know what happens if you try and, I think it detects it. Um, but if you just download it through the, the software store, this will work. So I don't know if this works on anything else, but it's basically designed to make OBS run incredibly well. And then here we are, the same thing, chmod, and then we just run it, and it should launch OBS at the end. Yep. There we go, I'm going to OBS. So what we're going to do, I've got it set to, a 60 frames a second, we'll add um, capture source. So I'm going to add through the streaming unit. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to show you something first. Here we go. I'm going to go into video. I've got it set to HD. I'd try this at 4K and stuff like that, just can't do it. You could probably do 30 or 25 frames per second at 4K, but it struggles. It struggles at 60. 
um, video. What else have I done in there? And output. Yeah. So there you go. You've got um, a QSV encoder in the chip. So you can use that. And, and here we go. So I'll add in my external computer. I think first of all, I did. There we go. That's my computer. I popped in through the HDMI. Leave everything unchanged. OK. And I need to adjust that size, don't I? So I need to jump back into that and then put it to 1920, probably. Here we go. 1920 to 80. Pop. So that's the in the screen now. Remember, this is on 2017 Mac with Linux, what I'm doing. Now you just you can bring in in OBS, look for the second device. And you do the drop down and there's the FaceTime camera. And so I should appear. Hello. And uh, now I'm going to overlay myself in the corner. And then I'm basically going to do a capture. I'm going to run one on the other machine. There I am looking at the machine and I'm going to run a benchmark. I'm capturing off of a Mac laptop. There we go. And this is um, one of the 3D Mark tests you can run on a Mac now. Well, I've done a whole video on this stuff so you can test um, to speed. Now you see the CPU is managing to keep up just six frames a second. It's not dropping anything. It does bounce a little. Um, I wouldn't, you know, you can see you can do H, potentially HD capture on this. Um, but I would really, you know, you can't do 1440p. I mean, I'll try. I've got another Mac laptop we're going to have a go with and see if I can do on that. But that seems to be just about keeping up. It's doing it. Yeah. Because it's got the inbuilt encoding in the um, in the chip. I'm actually copying this asset. It's dropped there. Look, it's dropped a bit. Not much. It's doing quite well. 51. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't drop under 50, I think it's OK. I mean, it's going to do it now, isn't it? Depends what you're doing. I mean, realistically, if you were doing like a tutorial video and you wanted to do this, I'll stop recording. I just drop right down there. If you're doing a tutorial video, then it's not a problem. It's probably better if you just want to do the screen cap. Is basically do it again. And let me go back to the machine and not have the overlay. I think the overlay as well is probably me in the corner is creating more stress on the GPU. See what it does it this time. But yeah, let's try that again. But yeah, have a play with it. You're not going to get much, you know, 60s, you know, a lot. I'm sure you could easily do 30. You could probably do 14, 40 at 30, I'd imagine, as well. But yeah, for games capture, maybe not a uh, push. But I mean, the box, that box is a tenner. If you've got a more, just that box is a brilliant thing in its own right. But if you bought this laptop for 80 quid plus that for 10, you've got like a little rig that can do everything. I'm not just saying, I mean, this is super portable. Um, and with the Linux, but it's just ridiculous. It's like giving it, oh, it's dropped some frames there. Look at that. It's doing it. It's not like in 60. But yeah, so I mean, maybe not. Maybe not with games capture. But you can see there that the, you know, if you've got any apps that use the FaceTime camera, that works. Um, and there you go. So just a bit of fun there with a Mint book, Apple MacBook, 2017, 80 quid Mac. Brilliant computer uh, to use Linux Mint on. I mean, seriously, it's like my carry around. I don't need, you know, just as a thing. It's better than a Chromebook or something like that. Anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. I put the scripts in the comments.